promise you, no decision has been taken. So has anything you've seen or heard today changed your preconceptions and views? Yes, it, it, I, mean, I came because I didn't have many preconceptions, actually. I find that you can't really take decisions on important issues without seeing what it is you're taking a decision about. And, and seeing the explore, explosive storage houses for myself and understanding what was required to make them fit for purpose to enable them to carry on being licensed was really important. Meeting the workforce and hearing, about, and hearing, hearing about their great pride in what they're doing here was really important. Uh, talking to unions for the second time about their options for future the site was really important. So, yeah, lots, a, a really helpful and constructive visit. So would you I, say it's been a worthwhile visit oh, for yourself? Oh, genuinely, to genuinely, the, no, 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 I, I, I feel much more comfortable. I've never been inside an explore, explosive storage house until today. No. Have you been inside an explosive storage house? No, I've not. No, no, well, well, they're not very exciting, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite interesting news, because that means actually the capital cost of refurbishment is not as great as one might have feared. Mm -hmm. I was, was going to say, because yeah. the, the, the MOD will work on assumption is about 100 million, yeah, well, and the, the unions... Mm. I, my own view is the figures are... Are much closer together than people imagine because the unions tend to talk about the short term capital costs of refurbishment. We tend to talk about the long term costs of refurbishment for a longer period mm. and then the operating costs of the 25 year period. Mm. So actually, so it's, it's chalk and cheese. Mm. I think when you, when you actually compare them on the same basis, the figures are much closer together than people have imagined. You know, discounted cash flow is, an, is a complicated concept for most people, it is for me, I know. Mm. Uh, but then you have to take account of those kind of concepts. Um, so I, I, I don't think the argument is really about the numbers. It's really about whether all the, everything is in the numbers it ought to be. For example, unions may great play transport costs, for example, and that may be a very powerful argument. It's about resilience issues, contingency issues, making sure we actually that we can achieve with our defence munitions establishments what we need to achieve in a time of war or conflict. You know, so, 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 it's not, so, so it's about bigger issues than just the costs of running and refurbishing this establishment. I mean, one of the arguments... But that's very important. The costs are very important. One of the arguments the unions have made is that if, if, if the closure does go ahead and... Uh, Kyneton is used as the sole base for supplying more coffee. And a lot of us will have to move through by road, where at the moment, of course, it can move by rail to this site. Is that something that you're going to, you know, just not simply looking at it as an accounting exercise, you're actually going to look at, I feel it, like, it, a it, it is one of the considerations mm. in the balance, yes, mm. it's one of the very important questions. Uh, and incidentally, by the way, the very attractive nature of the location of this particular day long term means that we are in a position I think to look very constructive at the possible engagement of the private sector and use of uh, the underused facilities of this site. This, this site is an underused asset. Whatever, whatever decisions are taken about its future as a munitions depot, it, it's underused. And it'd be great to see more jobs created here through the private sector. You know, so, so, so whatever decision is taken, I think there's a real opportunity to, to get more from this asset for the, for, the, for the region and for the country. So when is a final decision expected to be made? I can't give you a cast on date. I no. wish I could. Um, I, um, uh, there's been speculation I'll you take a decision next month. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll have the facts and figures at my fingertips mm -hmm. by then to take that decision as I'd like. Uh, and also, I'm sure my colleagues elsewhere in government will have views as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it'll take a little while. What we hope to do is, is, is before the end of the year. Um, I, there's been seven years of uncertainty at this site since Project Hadrian really began. Seven years of uncertainty. I said seven, seven, eight more weeks. I know it's a long time. People have suffered that uncertainty for so long. But it's right to take that time to get the decision right, mm -hmm. not to rush it. Um, so, I, uh, but it, it, it mustn't go on much longer. People, have, uh, one guy, and they said, "No, you're talking about the whole my mortgage, my future, my whole life, future life." It's not right to live that uncertainty for so long. But it's it's very important to get the facts to take the right decision. Do you feel that you require more facts before you can make an? Uh, the unions decision. have challenged today some of the facts on which we've based our thinking so far. So their 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 challenge to our facts needs to be assessed. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm particularly, uh, I, I think I'm reasonably confident that most of the facts I have available to me are, are well founded. My real concern is have I got all, all the facts, you know, the, the, the facts I have, I think are, are, I, I'm, the unions will probably disagree with this, but I, I'm reasonably confident. The question is have we fully factored in all the costs of uh, the transport mm -hmm. is the obvious one, the one you raised. Now, issues like that, issues around resilience, and it's pointed out to me that Kyneton was closed for a long time during bad adverse weather recently. Right. So you know, so making sure that the, the army in particular is satisfied with the arrangements for provision of munitions is really important. What, what, what value did they attach to having long time open? There are, there are other factors. So the, the facts I have, I'm happy with. The question is, are the facts complete?